Well, welcome to Wager Shoutout for Game Week 10. Um, a little a development has happened with my team. I've decided, you know, you have these brain waves. Um, you smell the wind. You feel very instinctive about a situation and an instinct about stuff. Um, looking at the games, you know, with uh, Villa entertaining Luton and Arsenal entertaining Sheffield United. You know, there is a lot of exposure out there. Uh, Spurs playing tonight at 8 o'clock away to Palace. That could be good for them. But traditionally, Spurs have always struggled there. I remember a 1-1 draw that was very disappointing. A last-minute um, schlup goal or last very late. And Palace could have went on to win that. And I had several examples of um, blowouts there for Tottenham. So this will be very interesting. If they win tonight, it's a strong possibility they could top the table by Christmas. Um, it's unreal. Seven wins and two draws. Still undefeated. But um, I, I've decided to go. I think, I think in FPL, you just have to kind of go for these big decisions. Um, you, you make these big decisions. If you don't, you tend to follow the crowd, the stats. You tend to do the safe thing, and you're. It, there's not much of a pay, a payout for that. You get rewarded in mediocrity, or if you want to protect your position, that's fine. Or you're in a mini league, and it's the last few games, and you just know what to do to cancel or negate who you have else. You know, there's um. A lot of mini leagues who have money riding in them and people put up this and that. So, yeah, it, it is not just a hobby and a pastime. There, there is money to be made for lots of people, not that I make much of it. I miss it. I, I, I mainly hand it out to them people. Um, but, yeah, let's have a quick look. This is only a short, you know, this the Wager shout out is only really meant to be about 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever. Um, the Wager review. That's the Wager review of the game we've just gone. So I was just thinking, like, I'm definitely going to get Haaland back. And it's a massive issue. And everyone's been humming and hawing about Son. And as you can see, um, I've decided to sell him for 9.4 million. He's 9.5 now, but I've left um, um, a, a bit of change in the bank. To, to just in case the point three I have left, uh, once I get Haaland back, I'll be changing. Um, I've got after selling Son for obviously the Villa lad Douglas Louise. Now that's a bit of a boring move. I know, loads of people he's gone up a bit, but um, okay, takes penals. He's involved in the plays, having a massive season. Um. Ever since he left um, Alicia, that was our Alicia Lehman, he's just been on fire, I'm telling you. I suppose she was a distraction, um, a handy footballer herself, you know. Um, but he's knuckled down since that breakup. And, oh, my God, he is just instrumental in that team, along with possibly, I think, Kamara. Um if I haven't got my wires crossed, I think Kamara is the other defensive midfielder. But um, yeah, Diaby, I, I was thinking of him, but I'm I'm more of a hunch player and a gut feeling, and I I didn't take long. It took probably a couple of seconds, just a, a quick think, uh, press that button, and I have the money now in the bank. I'm, I I was looking around, I had a, about five point eight million left after selling Son. And with about 8.8 .8 in the bank, um, that's going to be more than enough with the 5.5 .5 to get um, Hallen back from Mars. And I'm all ready to go. Uh, touch wood, no injuries, no nothing. Um, Mars is handy because coming off the bench, he's a striker, he takes penalties, and if you have an injury or a last-minute mess up, he'll come on for me. So... Really happy with my bench. Obviously, when Halleck comes back, uh, Douglas will go back on the bench with Anderson. Um, you know, and Aleph Halleck there going in 
uh, and, and I'm 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 happy. I'm happy. I'm sorting out that bench. I have looked at last night. Did an hour on the review. The Chris Nixon Pub League. Everyone in that league. I'm proud of that they're in there. They're trying their best. They're doing their best. They're not giving up. Um. Uh, and you guys are top dogs. You're FPL top dogs. And in our little triangulation of the West here, and obviously the diaspora we have from Australia, London everywhere um uh, malaysia um a little bit of um controversy uh, i'm proud of this league and what we're doing and where we're going and i in good faith i am hoping everyone that is in our community join us um join our whatsapp group and watch the videos here keep connected and let's get stronger together um that's where i'm with that so um, okay, Son will be playing tonight, so it'll be kind of a match play between Louise. Will they get a panel against Luton? Um, they've put six passed against six goals passed against Brighton, four goals against Villa recently. A home Villa are just unreal. Um, very exciting. It's unreal what what Emery has been doing. It's just you know platitudes. Uh, and good luck to him after his, his stint with Arsenal, which was probably that job probably came a bit too soon for him. Maybe this Villa job and then the Arsenal um, was lucky he won countless Europas before, so he was well entitled to have it to crack at the top one. Uh, so look, I'm happy enough with this team. Trippier's going to go nowhere. I don't care what sort of teams he's playing in the league. Newcastle are capable of Lantern. Very exciting team. So tripped up in a Villa players against Luton. Uh, I am, of course, I'm a bit worried. I'm going to have to watch from behind the sofa with with the Arsenal Sheffield United match. Um, but um, there has been injury news, and it looks it looks like um, Gabriel Jesus is out with some sort of a muscle injury. Um, I, I don't know if I can get up now, but basically Arteta in the pre-match interviews today has mentioned that it's, it's going to be out for a few weeks. Um, it's some sort of a muscular ish issue and he could surprise them and get back quick enough. Now, I was thinking of getting in Jesus, especially for Sheffield United after him score on a goal and an assist um, uh, away in uh, the Champions League. I was, I was really, really thinking uh, thinking that could be a good one. And I was I was very, very close until I had this thinking about Son. I'm going to get rid of him. I have to get rid of him anyway. Um, there's more money tied up in Madison. So it's just not worth it. Um, I'm going to keep Madison... And um, I, yeah, of course I'm worried about Saka, but I'm thinking about Saka, and he's a few niggles and bits, bits and pieces. Trossard's been a, a few niggles, and so has Martinelli. So there's something brewing at Arsenal in regard to niggles. Um, and I think Sheffield United will sit in and be gritty. Uh, they they might concede one, but they might get to half time. So it's all we'll, we'll have to um, see how it is. But you know. Fulham turned up and done a, done pretty well against Tottenham just to keep it at two anyway. So that's what I'm kind of hoping Sheffield will do. So uh, Parity's out injured. So uh, th this is worrying um, if you're an Arsenal fan with these these niggles. You know, so the, the games are going to come thick and fast now. Uh, there's no more international break to layer uh, in November. Isaac is out and Murphy is out to miss for Newcastle or Rice. Murphy, I think, a shoulder injury. Uh, Neto, the Bournemouth keeper, is out. The, um, Je Rhys James is back, but only on the bench. So that's handy for me to know for my draft. I have him. Um, and what else is there? We'll, we'll have a quick look here if there's anything else. Um. Yeah, Ten Hag has just been saying that Rashford's gone. He's going to trust him completely, and 
you know, this, uh, you know, criticism of him is unwarranted and he'll keep faith in him. Um, yeah. I think I think it's the Bor Bournemouth do have Burnley, I think it is. So your the manager there is under pressure to to beat um Burnley. Otherwise could be the chop after O'Neill leaving Bournemouth. And now he's pulling up trees at Wolves. Wolves look really interesting. Kind of very good and unlucky not to have more points this season. Uh Frank, I'm playing. Okay, there's bits and pieces. I uh, don't think there's, there's much in regard to that. So, um, yeah, so Eddie and Ketty will probably start, which is good. I have him in my draft, so I'll take that. Um, yeah, Liverpool are okay. Reese Burke is out with a handstring for Luton. Um, Anyway, you can get all this, but but basically, I'm not a great, I'm not a great massive fan about statistics and the whole lot. So this sun thing, um, it's just like a vibe. It's just a feel. It's just like um, I, I describe playing FPL like the sea, the tides, the moon, the earth. It's all rhythmic, and when you after getting a one or two, and then you last week in game week. Nine, and then you get rid of one of your your major players like Son, who's got a goal and assist and a clean sheet and three bonus points, like for fourteen. It it's like what are you ask. I'm not. I want Allen back. I've tucked over three million players out of the game, so I'm going to build. I'm going to build back better. Um, as the politicians say, and I'm looking forward to. Now I'm kind of hoping Burnley will will um look at this now. Um, I'm having the trouble, but I'm 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 definitely rooting for Burnley to take out to um sorry for Borman to take out Burnley, and for Burnley to still have um I Ariola whatever his name is it's something similar to that. <laughs> sorry, Ariola whatever sounds like the. Sounds like the the manager sounds like the same name as the West Ham keeper, right? Um, but you know what I mean. I'm hoping that they take out Burnley and then he'll have a crack at City, uh, lose seven or eight nil, and then he get then he goes and then you know I'm I'm not going to Haaland the score in, in the Champions League, but he's kind of a little bit of a droughty thing going on the prem that's not going to last for long you know i think i've got away with daylight robbery here um and i'm not going to rule out some other big decisions like this getting rid of Haaland and game vacation then knocking son in the head but if i know spurs they'll go there tonight they'll come out oh the big i am and palace will do a job and not only a job, they could sneak a 1-0 a win or something stupid. I've, I've been there before with them. Now, yes, I, I this is a Tottenham shirt. I know uh, wearing Man United uh, shirt last night, but that was from my old, um, you know, 20-something um, days. Um, of course, I have an affiliation with United and Spurs. Of course, I'm still a season ticket holder at Spurs. So... I call it affiliations now because I'm not going down this road anymore where I lose my mind over win loses or draws anymore about any team. Uh play FPL. Um all these guys in my team, I support that club. Liverpool, I'm a massive Villa fan now at the minute. Um I, I think it's healthier really this way than living a life and being depressed. Okay, if you're following Newcastle and Spurs for a long time, yeah. Um, you're ripping your hair out. You're getting old stomach ulcers. You're 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 getting wrinkly more wrinkly. You're going, I guess, you know, are you on the beer? You're smoking. You're you're you broke up with the wife. You you know, you've, you let the cat out. Never come back. You never see your kids again. It's all your anger issues. And 
no, nobody can expect you to have a stable mood. They're all dependent whether, oh, they find out has your team won, then they know, well, we'll have a good weekend. Then this is no way to live life. I'm telling you. Um, I think FPL has cured me of that. But unfortunately, it's a bit like that uh, Einstein's law. Um, neither energy is um, created or destroyed. Well, when you destroy energy, it has to go somewhere. It doesn't just disappear. Um, I might have just smothered that Einstein law. Um, <laughs> matter. It could be matter, actually. But it has to go somewhere, this grief. Uh, and so yeah, you do you get miffed off about your team? Oh, Sal is blind again. Yeah, so I kind of I kind of get it's a similar sort of setup, but the pressure's off me now. Anyway, I'm gonna go all out helter skelter. I'm I'm going to take the handbrake off. Um, I don't believe in the statistic statistics. Crack that you see the lads on scout and they're great, and I watched the whole lot of them and the FPL official. And mate, FPL mate, he does his little lines of players to get, avoid, and keep. And oh god, it's just like tedious to watch. Like it's instinct for me. It's instinct. I don't need expected goals. I don't. I. It's just basically the force. Once you can tune into the force, uh, the FPL force, you, you, you could, you don't, Luke. Um, put the blindfold on, you know, use his lifesaver to hit this ball. He said, but how am I meant to hit them? Use the force, use the force, Luke. You know, it's, that's, that, that really is what I feel about FPL. And when you catch a wave, you ride it for as long as you can. And you don't think about it. You don't, when you're on a 40 foot wave and you're on top of that, not that I ever done it, uh, but game week nine, one or two, you know, that's where I am at the moment. So I could have just um, fell off getting sun out, which is terribly, terribly risky. Um, but you can't have everybody. So I have a much wriggle room when I get Haaland back. That's the, that's the issue. Um, Alvarez I just like it I think he's just going to tip along and I just think there's just no no one else in and around him and his price and there's a lot of money wrapped up in him as well if I if I let him go it's going to cost me a lot more to 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 get him back Son is only point one of a difference if it all goes um, Pete Tong um or it goes bump in the night, ships go bump in the night. Um, I will consider Son back. But uh, United, or sorry, sp sorry, I don't know who I'm supporting. Um, Spurs do have a tricky run. It's no joke. Um, okay, Palace, Chelsea at home, they'll be all out for that. But you know what Chelsea are like. Um, they have the hoodoo over Spurs over for, for a while, and it's Pochettino. And he'll want some sort of this could be a really edgy affair. But we'll see. Um Postacoglu will go all out. That would be a real that for me is a is a tactical battle, that one. Uh Pochettino. It, he he just knows that club at the back of his hands at Tottenham. Um he's played that sort of, it really is what it really is like watching a Pochettino team um under Ange. But there are Fred, um, Udagi, will he be fit? I'm not so sure. So some someone will have to deputise. Uh, Wolves away, I don't think will be a, a gimme. Wolves look really good. I, I, I like watching Wolves. Um, Villa at home, okay, they bet Spurs last year or at home uh, at, at the Tottenham Stadium. And the City away. So I I will be looking to get definitely Son back for this run. Oh my god. But um I, I think this is a very, very tricky run for Spurs, massively. Although they have beaten Man City all the time over at the Etihad. Um 
one day City are going to win at home to Tottenham, like, you know, one day. Um, you know, it's, it's like a Herculean task for City to win at home to Tottenham these days. Anyway, so that's my gut thing. Uh, we'll see how we get on there. And I'll I'll leave it there, Roisin, if I can. Um, I'm just a bit relieved now that I can just get this Haaland thing. It's all issues, all sorted now. Loads of people are going to have this issue now coming up. And I've seen a few a lot of um, videos by other content creators, and they're doing their wild cards now, and they're fi they're figuring out. Hold on, we haven't done an awful lot of twisting. But I've took loads of minus four. I took about. I won't go into it now, but I'll definitely talk about seven minus fours, so seven by four, 20, minus 28. But this was all kind of tailored to getting guys uh, with price hits, and they have been earning value for me, especially in Madison getting in him in, and um, Cash getting in him in, in, in him in. I got a trip here in early, got money on him. Alvaro's got very, very early. Um, uh, and Watkins has even earned me a point one. So, um, looking at the their wild cards, they're looking pretty similar to what I have now. Um, but they're not the really really goosed in regard regard to their their price. Um, overall, the they've not caught many of the hits, and they're having rubbish benches. And this is where I will come into. This is, this is what I like about where I am at the minute, I'm going to have a pretty nice bench. Um, it's not going to be compiled with a low, you know, like Taylor a point three is three point eight, and my, I've seen West Ham's Mamba, whatever, um, and other thing, you know, an Archer, you know, <sighs> cranky. So I'll take it, and that's it for the Wega shout out. Thank you for listening. Uh, that's my opinions. Um, guys, don't forget tonight we do have the the eight o'clock kickoff. Again, this thing, all times are shown. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Crystal Palace versus Spurs. Um, deadline is at six thirty. Don't be late. It's a date for six thirty. Get your team done by then. Chelsea Brentford. That'd be Harem and Scarum South London clash. Uh. I wouldn't be surprised when Moambo will do something. Oh, yeah, and, and Konku is very close to getting back for Chelsea. So um, I'll be looking for him in the draft. Um, and James will be on the bench. I'm not sure. I think the Sassy might still be out, although his flag has been removed. So I'm not sure. Maybe the Sassy is okay. I hope he is. And Neto's out there for Burnley. Fine. This is the big one now. The big one now for that manager, Bour Bournemouth. Um, O'Neill there doing a great job. That 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 that's not going to be easy. Newcastle with the massive run in, in the Champions League. This is really where you're going to earn your corn, and the squad's going to earn its corn, um, by keeping up stand keeping up appearances and standards throughout a season where you have top quality, you know, Champions League stuff, and you've got to get back to the humdrum of the Prem. Uh, not easy to do. West Ham and Everton, I think this could go either way. Everton have under Sean Dice, have got a bit of a form going. Uh, a lot of their players are coming back and are back. At West Ham, I've heard that Emerson, I think, is suspended or he's injured, one or the other. And I think, yeah, Fabianski is out, but he wasn't going to play. Um, your Villa's fine Luton looking forward that's the big one there also Sunday 2 o'clock I'm off I'm watching that match uh, I'm going out for that match guys and I'm go come on you Villa I got a Villa scarf somewhere as well oh I have a Villa scarf that'll be a laugh turn up to the pub um, and I will, I'll have the Villa scarf so yeah anyone said that um, Claret and Blue hmm uh, Brighton and Fulham. Well, you would expect Brighton. Um, your man, De Zerbi, reckons that Fatty is only at 60% of, of the potential he is right now. So he's good now, but that's, um, you know, something to consider. 
I um look I I like Fatty. He could be the the one instead of Matoma. Matoma seems to be carrying bits and pieces of a niggle here and there, and he's took off early and off here and there, and he's missing a lot of chances, scoring, doing okay. But anyway, Liverpool and Forest. It's not going to be easy. Liverpool have been, you know, winning, but not kind of. All season they are they have been winning from impossible positions, um, and not really convincing. But that can change, and I'm sure they're going to absolutely start destroying teams once they get that rhythm together and get that team going with Shalabazai, and a few you know like Simicast will get fitted in there. Van Dijk being suspended was a blow. Uh, they just need to get a bit of um stability there at Liverpool. Klopp will have them in an even keel. Um, Darwin Nunes and the, seriously, it's a great great options off the bench for Liverpool to mix it up and you know what you're going to get from Mo. Um, and the United City 5.30 game it's a bit earlier this year maybe it's getting darker, the clocks are going to go back, I think it's either this weekend or the next one, but they're coming. They're going back, folks. Um, I don't know when they they go back. Is if they go back on Saturday, that makes sense. Why that's three thirty? I don't know. Maybe that's it's not. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I I think United will have a crack. It's a free hit for United. This I think it is. Super Scott's gonna be there. Oh, I heard Fred has gone to. To, to Turkey, yeah, you can't have Fred. Um, um there was a, an ad on on the radio saying uh, it's Paddy Power ad. I I'd love to um see if they have a video of it. But uh, what are you gonna come as for the Halloween uh, fancy dress? I'm I'm. Are you gonna go as Fred the Red like last year? Uh, oh, I'm gonna go as um uh, six foot four blonde. <laughs> um. Yeah, and we all know that is that's a that's scary. That's a horror show. That is, so look, this possibly could be the game where Hallen will reaffirm and assert his authority over all the minions of the Prem. Um, De Bruyne still is a big issue. They reckon De Bruyne being out. Um, uh, it, there is probably something to it that De Bruyne being injured. He got a lot of assists last year with, with Haaland. The two of them rhymed together amazingly well. So I definitely think there's something in the, the De Bruyne thing. So when De Bruyne gets back from his injury, I still wouldn't trust him. I'd want him playing solid for a month before I'd get him in. And he's massively overpriced still. Um, he can be injured at any second. So, you know, all of his issues of the World Cup and the whole lot in Qatar. I think, you know, I could get at them. Um, I think United should sit off and um just keep it just just keep it respectable. That's all I'm saying. Um I can't really call it. I'm gonna go for a draw here, a one one. Or, or one of them bore nil nil, something like that. I I just don't know. City are get atable. They've been get atable this season with Gundogan out, go leaving. Um, you know, Mara's leaving a lot, and also that Cole Palmer going that was a funny one for me, very funny one. Something up, um, it really is what a player, and um, he would be a lovely guy to have on your bench. I'd love to have Cole Palmer just there, just in case. Um, sky's the limit for that dude, young, and has no fear. Okay, well, thanks for listening, folks. A um, bit longer than I wanted, but that's where I am. And good luck with your teams for game week 10. Don't forget the deadline, 6.30, go out.